Want to know how to make 3 minute zero waste crock pot potpourri? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, my name is Nicole with TheLadyPreferstoSave.com and today I am showing you how to make 3 minute zero waste crock pot potpourri with things that you already have on hand at home or can very inexpensively purchase at the grocery store. Keep in mind that this is a blend that will go in your crock pot but could easily be made on your stove top and at the end of each day you can literally leave it just where it's at and the next day reconstitute it and start it right back up again. Perfect for guests coming over last minute during the holiday season or even jarring the materials to give as a hostess gift for those that you are visiting at their house this time of year. Here's everything you need to get started. Crock pot potpourri, I like to start by using whichever peels of citrus I have available at home, along with organic cranberry, cinnamon sticks, bay leaves. For seasonings, I like to use star anise, cloves, and allspice. Of course, the ubiquitous crock pot comes out in this recipe too, and it's just so easy to start by adding all your ingredients to your crock pot, adding your water on top, letting it First, go to high for two to three hours to get to temp, and then turning it on low and letting it go low and slow for the rest of its usage. The really cool part is, this is something that doesn't have to really be nursed, and all you have to do is sit back and enjoy your awesome scents this holiday season. And that's it. How easy is that to make DIY zero waste crock pot potpourri during the holiday season? And guys, let me tell you, it smells amazing, better than most candles, and if you're into essential oils like I am, you could even add some lemon oil or sweet orange oil or fur essential oil right into the crock pot just to add to the scent. And again, remember that you don't even have to refrigerate this. Just put the lid on at the end of the day, add new water each day, reconstitute it with a little bit of ground cinnamon maybe or ginger or nutmeg and more potpourri. It's an awesome gift to give others as well. And if you have extra leftover spices or peels or things like that, Pop them in a jar, put them in the freezer when you're ready for potpourri, add them to 8 to 12 cups of water, put it right back in the slow cooker, and you are in business. So, I absolutely recommend that you try this this season, and let me know below, what are your favorite essential oil or natural scents this time of year? I'd love to hear about them. Also, be sure to turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel, come on back tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas, and as always, please be kind to yourself and to others, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching.